Hey everyone, I just wanted to share my experience upgrading my Fedora KDE Plasma driven PC. I basically added a second NVMe M.2 drive and got Steam working properly with Proton, avoiding all of the sandbox permissions and those sorts of issues from the flat pack version, which I did have. And hopefully this helps somebody else who's navigating a Linux gaming and storage setups. Big disclaimer, this video is about how I set up a second NVMe drive for Linux gaming. It's not a tutorial, but a practical breakdown of what worked and what didn't work for me. I started by buying a new cheapish motherboard. I got a Gigabyte B550M Aorus Elite. And the reason I did that is because my old one had a single NVMe slot and I wanted to add a second fancy four terabyte one to hold my games and my videos and other files. It was pretty straightforward, although the new motherboard only had one USB header and I had to sacrifice the cooling fans RGB, not the cooling fans themselves. That's done through a different cable, but the RGB side of things I had to sacrifice. Uh, I think I'll be fine. So once the drive was installed, I opened up the KDE partition manager and I set the drive to use GPT. What I learned is that this is the modern partition table format that supports larger drives and more partitions than the older MBR, which I know to be master boot record. I then created a new partition and formatted it with the BTRFS file system, which is the modern Linux file system that supports things like compression and snapshots. And if you saw my previous video where I talked about time shift and how I screwed that up, this will allow me to use time shift properly hopefully and i gave the drive a label of games but i'll later change that and i'll and i'll cover why in a second so i then mounted the drive at home mojo 4tb and to make sure that it mounts automatically every boot i had to add it as an entry to my etc fstab file and this is a system file that tells linux which drives to mount and where I used the drive's UUID, which is a unique identifier that doesn't change even if the device names change. That makes it much more reliable and a persistent way to mount devices. And I also created a folder called Steam inside the new drive and gave myself full access. So I did face a problem. Steam wouldn't install Proton detected. games. It was giving me an error saying drive write or drive write failure. And after a little bit of research, I found out that it was because I was using the Flatpak version of Steam, which I talked about in an earlier video. Flatpaks run under a sandbox for security, which is great, but that sandbox also has limit to other folders on your system. And because of that, I got disk write errors when trying to install Proton or Windows games to my new drive. Now, there's probably ways to work around that, but for me, it was just easier to switch over to the RPM version. So that's what I did. I removed Flatpak Steam and installed the RPM version from the uh, Fedora repositories. Uh, this version is not sandbox, so it could write to my new drive right away. And the Proton games installed with no issues. Now I did test Linux games essentially. So I installed Project Zomboid and it worked fine. It was only the Proton games that I had challenge with. To migrate the existing games, I already had a bunch of games installed through the Flatpak Steam and I manually copied them from the Flatpak location into the new Steam folder on the four terabyte drive. And when I launched the new RPM version of Steam and added that folder as a library and then launched a game, it automatically detected the game and verified them rather than actually having to download them. So just consider that. I did decide to rename the drive. So even though the file system label was set to 4TB. Dolphin, which is the file manager in KDE, showed the drivers games. That's because Dolphin uses the partition label and not the file system label. And since I wanted to use the drive for more than just games, I went back into the partition manager and changed the partition label from games to storage. And I read that because I used the UUID to mount the drive renaming labels won't cause any issues now if somebody can correct me on that in the comments below if i'm wrong and please do when i opened up dolphin the new name showed up immediately it was great 
Another thing to consider is cleaning up after yourself. So after switching from the flat pack version to the RPM version, I noticed that flat pack steam had left a lot of data behind in a folder that are no longer useful. Once you switch to the RPM steam, I only copied over the games and then deleted everything else. <laughs> now, if you do that, you do that at your own risk. That did reclaim me a lot of space. I got about 300 gig back. So it was for me, it was worth doing. So the final result is I now have a second NVMe, which is properly mounted. I can now install my Steam games directly to it and the Proton games and non native games all work without any issues. I was able to copy across the games from the Flatpak version before wiping it. That was great. Saved a bit of time. I obviously was able to rename the partition label from games to storage to, to, to give it a little bit more of a varied use. I could easily do four terabyte of games, I'm sure. But yeah, that's not what it's for. And I didn't break anything when doing that, which was nice. And yeah, using the UUIDs in, in the FSTAB file made the setup much more solid and much more future proof. So that's it. Just thought I'd document the process, as is what the point of the channel is. If others have done something similar or have tips on what they would have done differently, I'd love to hear how you handled it. Anyway, thanks again for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.